Hi everybody, my name is Mark Ripley. My YouTube page is Mark Ripley Dash Music. And if you like what I show you today, please like and subscribe to my page. Today I am going to play and demonstrate the Randall and Nancy Faber arrangement of Pachelbel Canon. Now, um, this piece was originally written in the key of D by Johann Pachelbel, um, but uh, the Fabers changed the key to C, and this is sort of a simplified version. I would rate this piece um, probably late beginner, early intermediate level, just to give you a feel for that. And also, if you like what you hear, please, um, I'll, I'll have a link to the music to get the music at the bottom of this. Uh, so if you want to order the music, feel free to do that. And uh, so kind of the process here today is I will play through the piece one time um, just to give you a feel for how it goes. And then I'm going to kind of walk you through the whole thing and uh, show you if you were here in my studio how I would teach a student to, to play this. Now this is assuming you've got a, a basic background on the piano. So just remember that um, it's not for a brand new beginner. Okay, so here we go. Make sure you get your fingers on the right keys. That's what I always tell my students. Okay, there you go. So that's basically how this song goes. Now, um, somebody learning this for the first time, um, probably what I would encourage you to do is learn the first line, left hand. Okay, and it's got half notes. Number one starts on C, an uh, octave below middle C. And... Uh, so that first line's going to go like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the first line. What's cool about this is the second line's exactly the same as the first line. The left hand is. 
the third line is the same as the first two lines and the fourth line is the same as uh, all those other previous lines so it's all the same uh, now when we get to uh, measure 21 the left hand changes slightly and it's going to do something like this measure 21 one two So you're basically playing thirds uh, for four measures. And then guess what? The same as the first four measures. You do it twice. Two more times. And the very last two measures are a little different. Uh, but we'll get through that. Uh, so that's basically the left hand. Now the right hand... Uh, it's going to start, oh, and by the way, the fingering numbers on this piece that are on the sheet music are really good. So I would encourage you to follow to a T the finger numbers that are shown on the sheet music. Okay, but basically the, the right hand now starts with three on E, an octave above middle C. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the first, um, uh, eight measures once the right hand starts. Okay, now it gets a little little different where we got a bunch of eighth notes running in here. Uh, but what's cool about measure 13, 14, and 15 is the left, um, I mean, I'm sorry, the right thumb is going to step down just like you're going down the scale. Now it's got some eighth notes scattered in between there, but if you watch where your thumb is playing, it's going to step down right like this. So here's how the, uh, the last line of the first page is going to go for the right hand. Watch that, that thumb stepping down. Here it goes again. Okay, then it changes again slightly. Uh, this is the top of the second page now, right hand. And it's got an eighth note rest. So it's one and two and one and two. So that's the next section of the song. So practice these hands separately at first, the first few days or so. It depends on how quickly you learn, but uh, that's what I would encourage you to do, to practice these hands separately at first. Or if you do it both hands together, just take it really nice and slow. But here's uh, measure 16 through measure 20. Okay, now the, the next section is going to go like this. One, two and three and four and one two and three and four and one now the left hand is going to kind of take over from the right 
So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we got another new section here. One, two, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now this is a forte section, so rest. Rest, rest, one, two, okay, now the, um, the last two measures has got a, it's got R-I-T written on the music, which is short, uh, shorthand for retardando, so that means to gradually slow down, so, we were clipping along here about one and two and three, four, one, two. And the last note, um, it doesn't have a roll written on the music, but uh, music from this area, era a lot of times rolls kind of does that. So I like to do that at the end. So boom, boom, boom. Okay. And that's basically it. So once you learn your two hands, um, put them together, take it slowly, practice with your metronome. Remember, your metronome is your friend. And if you like what you heard today, please uh, like and subscribe to my to my page, Mark Ripley Dash Music. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.